afternoon guys it's Sally and welcome to today's video so today we're going to do a little bit of work on this ring bound journal um, where are we up to I'm going to start embellishing so I think I'm going to do this inside pocket uh, inside front cover not pocket I'm going to put a pocket on there that's what I'm going to do let's just put that over there um, I've got some I've done some die cutting of some of my pockets and other bits and pieces. I'll leave them there, see how far we get on. I've got some paper pads out, just 12 by 12 paper pads to use, should we need to. I'm going to put them just at the side of me down there. And what I've done is, I've used some dies. I'll show you what I've used. Now obviously everybody's not going to have these dies. I'm just using them because I've got them. Um, the first one is this one, and it's a fantastic die. It's an Elizabeth Craft Designs one. I did have a, I bought it from Amazon oh, a few months ago, and I got it for about thirteen pound. When I've been on and had a look today, it's twenty five. I'll try and link it, but just if you if you're wanting to buy it, keep going on because the prices fluctuate. Like I said, it's double what I paid for it, but it's a really nice die. So I'm going to use that one, and the other one that I've used, going to use is this waterfall one again i bought this from craft stash in one of their half price sales it was something like six pounds six fifty and um, so i've die cut that as well i mean these waterfalls there's hundreds of tutorials on youtube to make them without a die but i just bought it because it was cheap at the time and it's really easy die to use uh, so i just thought i'd show you them i'll link them anyway and like i said just keep checking for sales and discounts craft stash always have sales going on so yeah so this is the elizabeth craft one i've cut it in some stripy cardstock now then what i did was it should go that way really with the holes on this side but i've not fussed on that paper so i wanted the stripy one so i'm just going to put it that side like that it won't matter i can just put it there so that's the base of the die and then i've cut the little holes that go over the top like that and then this is another piece of the die I'm going to make that into a little pocket there as well so what we'll do first is we'll it's all come scored so you only need to fold your I mean you could make this pocket easy without a die it's only a piece of card with a you know a shape cut out the top and three holes punched down the side like I said I bought it because it was a good price and it's just easy for me to die cut but you don't need this die you could make it be really easy to make so I'm just going to put my glue on I'm going to have this on the inside cover so I'm going to stick it down there give it a minute to, to grab yeah I do like dies that make my life easy but you don't need it to make this pocket you could quite easily make it I've not put any glue at the top of there. How do I expect it to stick? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on that little, little bit. Right, let's just hold on to that for a minute. So when we open it, it'll be like that. Right, let's put these little pieces on. And I've decided, guys, that this journal I'm going to do as a giveaway for all your support over the, you know, on my channel. I do appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos and leaving me lovely comments. Yeah, so this one's going to be a giveaway. It's going to include international as well. Um, yeah, so when we get to the end, I'll tell you all about the giveaway and what you need to do to be in with a chance of winning it thought it'd be something nice to give back for Christmas right so this is the other piece of the die I am going to cut a little fun notch in the top there I'm just going to get my ink I meant to ink around the edge of that one before I stuck it down just go around the top like that <laughs> Put a bit more glue at the bottom yeah, I thought it would be a nice thing for me to do to give something back to you all for watching and supporting me. 
this will be my last Christmas journal for this year. I've made, uh, how many have I made? One, two, three, four, five I've made, including the pink one. Yeah, so I'm going to stick that on the front there like that. Okay, so we need a nice big tag to go in there. Let's just make sure that's straight. Right, we want some embellishing now, don't we? Let's just get me bits and pieces out. Uh, these are words. Put them the fussy cuts. Um, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of layering. Let's have a look in my other bits and pieces. What have I got here? They're all tags. Uh, this is ready-made ephemera. I wonder if I've got a big tag that would fit in that pocket. Oh, we've got some here actually. Save me making another one. Which one? How many have we got? Oh, we've got quite a few here. These were left over from some with a Tim Holtz journal. So we can use one of them, can't we? Rather than make another one. Which one should we put in? Let's have that one. Put that in the pocket. That will save us a, a job fit in there oh perfect look at that made to measure okay so we want to do a little bit of collage down here and what do I want I don't know what I want is the answer there's my bits and pieces what have I got in here mm, that's nice with the Father Christmas on I like that yeah I like that have that. Let's put a little ticket there. Free pass to see Santa. What about that? Shall we have some book page or something underneath? Um, this is just my little collage box. There we are. I've got a piece of script there. Might put some of that on or some of. Oh, I've got paper stuck to me. How are you all doing with your Christmas crafting? Are you, do you craft for Christmas, make journals or what do you do? I'm going to do a couple more videos. I'm going to make some Christmas cards. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a few more Christmas videos. But when I've finished this journal, I'm all journals out for this year, I think now. I've worked hard on Christmas journals this year. I only normally do two at the most. But I don't know, I got the Christmas book this year and started early making them <laughs> put that there then we can see a little bit of the book page you know what i'm going to put santa on some foam pads while it is at the front of the journal one here as well just to make sure it stays on just put Santa there like that okay and we want something on the top of the pocket there should we have one of these little oh actually I think we'll have that down the side December let's cut let's cut around that uh, where's my scissors gone December in fact I think I might put it about there and then I can still need a little we need a little I might as well cover up them holes if I do that won't I let's put it there like that something on here um, that say 
Christmas. Let's have Believe because we've got Santa on there as well, haven't we? Just put a bit of ink around that. There. Right, let's see if there's any little tags made that we can put in that one. I'm not sure if we've got any small enough to go in there. What have I got here? No, that would be too big. And we've got some here that we could embellish. I wonder if, wonder if there. These are just left over from the, the other journals that I've made. No, there's not. It's only a thin it's only a thin little piece. Let's see if we can cut this down. Right, I'm just going to get my trimmer and just straighten that edge off. And this one. Just about, I don't know whether to take just a little bit more off and then I'm not fighting or whoever gets it's not fighting to get it in and out. Right, let's take a little bit off this off the top to make the tags. Yeah, but we can't put much on it because there's not much room. I'm just going to trim that again. Right, let's put some ink around here. I'm not going to stitch it because I think the pocket's too narrow and the stitching will probably get caught on the pocket. But I am going to put an eyelet in, in it. Yeah, where's my eyelets? something through the top in a minute we just want to put a few bits on here and uh, what should we put on then we'll just have a fussy cut to be honest because like I said I don't want it so it's catching yep we'll have Santa on there make the front all about Santa <laughs> word on here uh, what should we have should we have Christmas yep stick that on the top there right let's get something to put in the eyelet I think we'll have some of this green I think we'll have a bit of a contrast because we've got a lot of red going on there haven't we let's have some green this is just a crinkle seam binding that I bought off Etsy. Yeah, I'm going to leave it long like that. Oops, let's see if it'll fit in there now. Just put a bit more glue on that bottom bit, it's not sticking down. Right, so I'm going to put a fussy cut down here as well, I think. What should we have? Oh, that little boy and girl's really cute. Um, little girl. Decisions, decisions. I've got a cluster there as well. You know, that looks too much. 
I'm going to put that little girl on. It's not kind of image, sort of image I would normally go for that, but I think it looks nice on there. Yeah, let's put her on, that little girl. She's in her best attire. She's got all her Christmas clothes on. <laughs> Bless her. Right, let's stick her down there then. And let's see if we can put that in there. There we go. I think that's enough on there, do you? Don't think we need anything else. Do we need anything down here? I uh, don't want to put another little fussy cut that side. Have we got any little... Seeing if we've got a little boy, maybe. Don't think I've got any. Oh, we've got another little girl. Oh, actually, we've got a boy there. Yeah, let's have that little boy on as well. The only thing is, is that bit in there I don't like. I couldn't get my scissors in to cut that. I'm just going to rink over it. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut that around. Uh, let's just get some smaller scissors. There's no way I can fussy cut that bit with them big scissors. <laughs> I'm just going to cut in between. I don't know why I didn't think to do that in the first place. There we go. Let's put some glue on him. Do you know what? I'm going to leave that out just for a bit because if it's still tacky, it might get stuck in there, actually. Yeah, let's put him there like that. Yeah, I think that's enough on there, do you? Right, let's get the journal and let's put that back on the front. Right, so there's our cover. So well, that looks like that. So that looks okay, doesn't it, when we open the journal and we'll put that tag there. Right, we've got what we've we got here. We've got an envelope, so we need something to go in there. Let's see if I've got any journal cards ready. I'm not sure that I... Oh, I can go and I've got one here, like a mixed media one. No, that's not big enough. Let's make a little journal card. I'm just going to work from the front onwards and just, yeah, just take our time doing it. Okay, right, let's just put that over there for a bit. Yeah, and if I put that, if I put that tag in, it might stick to the inside. Right, I want a piece of card to make a, to make a base. I'm just going to guess with this. Just using craft card because it can still be journals on. Let's just have a look if that will fit in and out. I think that might be a bit too wide. A little bit more off. more and it's not getting stuck off the edge as well right there we go that'll do fine right let's get some choose some papers um, what do we want might go floral with this one these are all just kit papers that I've got left. Oh, that's nice with the roses. Um, that's nice, isn't it, with the, the bird. Let's just put that one there. Christmas tree. Right, I'm going to go with that one. Otherwise, I'll have you here all day. Let's just put them behind me for a minute. <laughs> Got no room to put anything. 
let's see how much of this we can fit on let's just cut around it a little bit stitch it so I'm not being over generous as long as we get the bird in right let's just cut around that okay just cut that corner where I've not cut it straight I'm just going to whiz around it on my sewing machine I'll just be a second for you oh actually before I do that I'm going to put a little tab on the side so let's just uh, where's my tab punch and then I can stitch it at the same time okay we want some paper on there I'm just going to use the back of this I think yep a better piece than that okay actually it'd be easier for me to do that won't it than try and cut around it what am I doing I lost my train of thought for a minute then so I was going to try and cut around it silly me right okay all that in half just then I can stitch it at the same time put a little bit of glue on the inside of it okay just keep hold of that for a minute I'm going to cut my corners round my corners are you going to play nice today yep nope yeah. <laughs> it's very temperamental this is sometimes it works absolutely fine and other times you have to fight with it right I'm just going to stitch around guys I'll be back in a second ok so I've done some wonky stitching around the edge and this mint journal on right I want to put something on the top of the so. they're a bit big what does that one say that's silver I don't want silver what's that one Christmas wishes that'll do I'm not going to rink it because it's dark on the edges Let's see if we can fit it fit it up there like that um shall we have a bit of gold glitter or should we yeah let's have some glitter on the holly <laughs> just get me glue pen out to put it away I think right I'm just going to use my glue pen I'm just going to go over some of the berries enjoyed playing with glitter with all my Christmas projects I really have let's do a little bit on the birds feathers right where's my dish gone uh, I'm just going to clean that out because I've had silver in there I don't want to mix the two together I'm just going to clean that out Right, let's get the gold this is glamour dust it's really fine glitter it's very nice actually there we go nice sparkly journal card just put that up there right okay so where's the little pocket so you're going to go in there going to fit in there nicely yeah I want to put something on the top of here 
just a sentiment or something because I've got that little cluster there. I don't want too much on. What sentiments have we got in here? Um, what does that say? Christmas elves. No, we don't want that. This book belongs to. We don't want that. These are just little. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's have a look in this one. See what we've got on here. What's that one there? Holidays, and that's too big. Oops. Celebrate Christmas time, that'll do. to do the back as well don't we oh I've done the back I've just got a little pocket there let's have a look if there's anything we can oh I'll fill the we'll fill the pockets up later if we need to make tags and journal cards we will do but we'll fill up the pockets up with ephemera later so that's that one let's get the journal and let's put that back in I think that should be able to go in there now I don't think it'll get stuck now right let's put you back Come on, get on. Right, let's see what's next. Uh, just the book page. All I'm going to do is just ink this book page up. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm just going to put some ink around the edges. On the back. It's just got a way in a manger on the back. do is just put that in like that right what have we got next just a piece of paper to do something on here right let's have a look what we've got I have got the what's the name here I've got some pockets that I've die cut I think we'll have one of these pockets on here Another one of my dies, just a pocket die. This was one from eBay, it's only a cheap one. I've got, I, I do buy quite a lot of pocket dies because I like to use different ones in my journal. It wasn't expensive, it was only a couple of pounds off eBay. Might have even been AliExpress actually, it was one of them. It wasn't, it wasn't an expensive die anyway. In. How long have I been on, guys? Oh, gosh, half an hour already. We'll do this page and then I'll have to call it a day because the girls will be getting in from school soon. Right, so we're going to fill all them pockets up, but we're not going to fill them up yet. Do we want to put something up here? We're going to have a big tag in there, aren't we? So... I don't think I need to. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, I'm going to put that big one in there. But what I'm going to do on this background is I'm just going to do some stenciling just on the background. I should have done it before I put my um, pocket on. I'm just thinking, where's my stencils? I haven't seen my stencils for ages. I think I've put my Tim Holtz ones. Oh, they're here. They're here. I thought I'd put them somewhere else. Let's have that one. Uh, I think we'll use the vintage photo. We'll just do some stenciling in the background. Actually, I'm going to get my brush. I prefer stenciling with my brush. Just in the background there. I'm going to stencil on this side as well. Just a bit fainter on here. I think I'm going to put a side pocket on this one. I should have left this. In fact, I might leave that for journaling. I think we might leave that one. I'm going to put that big tag in there. Let's just put something on this pocket at the bottom. I'm not going to embellish these little strips because they're going to have tags in. Um, I've got lots of ephemera at the side of me here. You know, kit ephemera that we can use. So let's just... What does that say? Merry Christmas, let's put that on there. Stick 
that down there and then we can fill the other pockets up right shall we leave that for journaling maybe just put a die cut or a something at the bottom just a fussy cut i just can't leave blank pages i don't know what it is with me i drive myself crazy with it that's cute that little girl and boy isn't it let's have them too he's got his he's holding the umbrella up for a blessing <laughs> oh dear and um, where's me dabba doo gone I might do a bit off camera, I'll see how I get on. I might just leave it and come on and do some more videos. Well, I will come on and do some more videos, but I might do a little bit. But I'll show you what I do. Right, I think, I don't think I want to put anything else on there. I think I'm just going to leave that. Like I said, we can put ephemera in that at a later date. I'm just thinking, do I want to put some glitter on this Merry Christmas? And the berries. I think I'm going to go over the Merry Christmas as well. Fantastic this. I really love that pen. I really do. Right, let's get this thing again and just go over the bottom. Yeah, well that looks nice actually, the words. Do I want to put anything else on the bottom there? I might put a flower or something down here. Let's have a look at my flowers. While, we're, while we've got a ring band, we can put some embellishments on, can't we? Forgot about that. Oh, I've got some nice holly. What did I use on that page? Oh. I'm drowning in packets and papers what's these I've got that piece of holly there that's nice isn't it should we put one of them at each side yeah that just finishes it off um, i'm not going to put them little things on i'm just going to just going to stick them down and this one So I think I'm going to have to leave it there now guys, I've been on, how long have I been on? Nearly 40 minutes, so it's just a quick video today, we'll come back and we'll do a couple more pages together. Let's just put this back in here. We've got lots of pages left to do, what's the next page? Oh it's a pocket page and then we've got a little journal. So I'm going to leave it for today there, we've done a couple of pages haven't we, three pages, four pages and yeah I shall come back on and we'll do a little bit more embellishing, like I said I might do a couple of pages off camera, I'll see how I feel. So as always guys thank you so much and take care and I'll see you all soon in my next video, bye for now.